Tombstone, Old West Country. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. And that's the whole state right there, right? Yeah. <laughs> All broken down into regions. Cool. You see, see, this is a um, monument family. See, right. That's what it looks like. Cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Over here? And that's, yeah. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's, we'll, we'll have to see that. We'll, we'll check it out sometime. Because that, that is come this far. Okay, so for anyone that's watching right now, uh, we are right here at a rest stop between Sedona and Cab Verde. We are heading down I-17. Going into Phoenix, we'll take the bypass 303, catch the 10, which actually goes into Yuma, which a lot of my reports came from Yuma at the beginning of 2014. We're back on the road, and I'm really impressed with these, um, these uh, rest stops. They're very clean, they're very secure. The bathrooms are clean, unlike the ones that I experienced in Mississippi. Uh, but anyway, it's got like these neat little things, like a little nature trail, as Eric was joking about. There's Eric right there. Is there a microwave over there? I don't think there is. Be. Hi, Eric. This has been a perfect opportunity to take a microwave out of your car and take it to the bathroom. Hey. Plug it up. Raviolis, are we having? Yes. You're having? Hey, um... The guy, ah. Burger King. Okay, McGuireville rest area, Arizona Department of Transportation. Anyway, what about the guy at the Burger King? He's right there in that white truck, the one that was in the bathroom that told us about the. We were looking at the stuff, the stuff on the walls. Yeah. Like the condoms and weed. Uh, He's that's in that him? truck right there. Wow, yeah. he made it far. He must be going to Phoenix. So anyway, all right. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit of this. It's nighttime. You can't see much. But anyway, so Eric, so Eric and I are gonna walk down a little nature trail. Yeah, this is cool, and yeah. some of the native species here. This cacti is really cool. Awesome. I love this prickly tree. Pear. Prickly pear? Yes. Cool. Well, I've just been called a prick a lot of times. <laughs> this is, uh, these are actually uh, uh, palms. So we're getting into that area. Don't touch any of these. The barbs will mess you up. All right, so anyway, out we go. It's pretty cool. It's pretty scenic. <laughs> Take care, man. <laughs> That's the guy right hey, this there. Is Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd? <laughs> yeah, this is beautiful out here. Unfortunately, we are out here at nighttime. Got a bit of a late start. <laughs> but I am finding that I am a night driver. I'm usually up until about 4 or 5 in the morning. And then. Uh, that's got to stop because I need to start going back to work. I need to start writing news articles at about 5 a.m. for the morning edition. Anyway, Jimmy's like, oh, get that camera off of me. Mr. Quackers is... Uh, I have a momentary lapse of reason. What is that? Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd? Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Mr. Quackers! Mr. Quackers! Where's Mr. Quackers? <laughs> No! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> anyway. Alright. So, uh, about an hour and a half, we're going to be, uh, probably less than an hour and a half, we're going to be in Phoenix, so we're going to get out, stretch our legs, and then from there, we're going to go drive four hours straight into Palm Springs. We'll talk to you then.